Hi, this is Liz Davis. I am a nutritionist and I specialise in digestive health for busy women. So I help busy women fix their bloating, their IBS, heartburn, um, all those other gut symptoms and any symptoms associated with it that cause any problems. Um, I do this with state-of-the-art gut testing and dietary upgrades, lifestyle upgrades and supplements, etc., to really help to bring the whole situation back into balance for you and get everything ticking over nicely as it should be. So today I was going to talk to you about parasites, which a lot of people find really um, yucky and unnerving. And with clients, if we get parasites showing up on test results or anything, the immediate reaction is, oh my God, I've got to get rid of this as quickly as possible. So I will do a quick rundown then about parasites and um, a bit of background there and then the kind of problems they can cause and maybe whether or not they're implicated in your symptoms or not. And then a couple of dietary upgrades you can make and herbs that you may want to use if you think possibly this is a problem for you. Of course, it goes without saying if you do have um symptoms or anything if you've been traveling abroad and you're coming back with um terrible gut symptoms then absolutely gp first first port of call because um they will run tests for you to find out what might be going on in there and um you know if you've got any you know serious issues arising from that so about parasites and well basically a parasite is any kind of organism that lives off of uh, a host so in this instance, it could be you. Um, so it's attaching to, it's benefiting from living there. Um, a lot of the time, these things are microscopic. You can't see them. You've got parasites all over your skin, um, living in your gut. So they're living on you, they're living in you. Um, and most of the time, they don't cause any problems. They're just perfectly harmless. Um, so there are quite a few different kinds that we can think of. There are... Um, your intestinal worms, so you've got things like threadworms, tapeworms, etc. There are the kind of parasites you might pick up abroad, so stuff like giardia, malaria is a parasite as well, things like that. So they cause problems in varying degrees to a greater or lesser extent, from causing absolutely no problems at all to causing quite severe disease states and everything else in between. So they are actually quite a um, quite a you know a complicated issue really and as I say a lot of people are horrified when they first realize that they have parasites because they've shown up on their gut tests that we've run and um, they could they may or may not be causing problems um, depending on the issue and depending on the general state of the person's gut health really um, so basically if you've got 80% um, of people will have some degree of parasites living in their gut, which can be a little bit unnerving to think of. Um, but as I say, on the test we run, they will show up whether or not um, they're there for one thing and whether or not they are causing problems. So people with imbalanced gut flora, so they've got too many pathogenic bacteria, for example, not enough beneficial species, they may have parasites present, there may be inflammation present and things like that, the gut immunity may not be great. So they, that kind of an environment can give rise to parasites that can be quite problematic at times. So sometimes we find that it can be the parasites that are causing IBS symptoms. Um, so we, the common ones that commonly commonly show up on tests are Blastocystis hominis and Dientamoeba fragilis, and um, they sometimes they're in the gut, not causing any issues at all. But if we look at the gut and um, we can see that there's this pattern of what's known as dysbiosis, then yes, getting rid of them can be very beneficial to um, to the person who is suffering with these conditions. Um, so it could be that the parasites have caused the dysbiosis situation, or it could be that the gut was dysbiotic to start with, and then this has allowed these parasites to flourish in the gut, and then they could be in there causing IBS-type symptoms, constipation, diarrhea, etc., as well as other systemic um, problems as well. Um, 
so the bottom line is though is going to always be improving the bigger picture so improving the state of the gut generally um, really helping your immune system to um, keep things in balance for you and um, to you know kind of tackling it um, from that perspective if there is however quite an extensive um, parasite infection or there are a lot of pathogenic species of bacteria or something causing problem in the gut then it's advisable to use a quite going quite full on with some powerful herbal um, treatments there so it may be necessary to use things like berberine or oregano garlic is a good one as well at kind of quite um in you know quite potent doses to kind of knock that infection on the head any kind of treatment like that using those kind of herbs is absolutely not recommended long term at all and it's always going to be best to test first see what you're dealing with and then take the advice of a practitioner on um, doses etc before you start using these you absolutely do not want to be using them long term at all because they can have um, a negative impact on your beneficial species of bacteria so always test first i can advise on testing if you're interested and um and then always get advice from a herbalist or whoever before taking these uh supplements um aside from that there are some great foods as well that you can be adding to your diet as well as taking away from your diet um garlic and onions are always fantastic for gut health i know a lot of people find it difficult to eat them if your gut if your gut health is a bit compromised because they can be quite hard to to digest sometimes but they have um sulfur compounds in them which are great antimicrobials and great for gut health they feed your beneficial bacteria well um helping to keep those pathogenic species in check so they're great all round as onion and garlic fantastic you can take garlic as i say as a supplement as well which is good for things like candida that sort of thing um, as i say there's some great herbs out there pumpkin seeds as well superb for um eliminating parasites as well although you do need to eat quite a lot of them so it's not always the most perhaps comfortable way of dealing with things but there is always that option if that's the road you want to go down um stuff like oregano ginger as well great for gut health um papaya is super it's a super anti-parasitic and antimicrobial um, pineapple etc very very good for gut health coconut oil is really great for addressing dysbiosis it's um, antimicrobial antifungal etc so it's another good one to get to get going on you know you can cook in it as well and um, it's quite handy and convenient apple cider vinegar as well is always a lovely um, addition uh, watch out for your teeth though because it can be quite kind of um, not so great for your tooth enamel but it's a nice one just to add to salad dressings and things and really helps to keep your gut health your gut environment nice and healthy um, as well it goes without saying lots of different colored fruit and veg always going to be helpful for feeding those good bacteria and helping to keep that gut environment nice and healthy and robust and keep your gut immunity ticking over nicely um, sugary foods are generally going to be not great because they're going to feed those pathogens which is not what we want so really minimize sugary foods and also minimize highly processed foods as well and um because they are not going to be beneficial for your overall gut health at all okay so that's a quick rundown on parasites there for you they're generally typically not as um horrifying as you might think to start with and um they are living with us most of the time and sometimes they they can be in there causing problems is the takeaway so if you have got symptoms it could be